I'm speaking to you this time for the most spectacular of settings. I'm at the top of an amphitheatre in Jordan, in an ancient Roman city called Jerash. You can hear some children below me probably greeting the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Hussein, and Prince William of the United Kingdom. Hopefully you can pick that up. The acoustics in this ancient amphitheatre are spectacular. A group of young people then addressing the young princes, both of whom will be king one day. One's in his 30s, Prince William. Prince Hussein, though, is in his 20s. They're very focused on always working with young people representing youth because that's the generation they're going to represent when they are monarchs themselves. And it's always really interesting to see how they try to stay in touch with that generation. Uh, so they use various platforms, traditional TV like me and digital, uh, but also their own social media accounts. And both of them have got huge followings on Instagram, for example. Interesting, though, to see how they have different um, attitudes towards it. Prince William doesn't personally post anything. It's all done through the palace. Prince Hussein does. It's a great scene here, a young kid uh, greeting uh, the princes and lots of kids around clapping and cheering along to him. A uh, really stunning scene. Uh, but as I was saying on Instagram, we'll see these images later, so I'm sure the Crown Prince will be posting them. Uh, what he does, he, he might be in a formal setting at the United Nations addressing the Security Council, for example. In the next post, though, he'll be lounging around uh, on his sofa, or he'll be climbing a wall. He's really into extreme sports, or he'll be involved in his military role. Uh, I think it's really interesting to see how he's really grown that following over time as well. A very loyal following of young people, which will be really useful for him as he goes into his uh, kingship later on. And what he's doing is expressing his character more and more, as Prince William does compared with his grandmother. Uh, I think that's a really important thing to remember when anyone's trying to develop their clout. Uh, these guys are obviously doing it, it over a long period of time. They're heading towards this job for life. Uh, we're all doing it in a shorter time zone, perhaps. Uh, but you've always got to keep in mind your target audience when you're trying to develop your clout. And it's very easy to try to get too broad an audience and target the wrong people. Ultimately, you want to target the people who are going to help you achieve your ambitions. So if you're going to be a king, you need a broad church of support of younger people, which is why these guys are on many engagements trying to bring in many people. You might just have a very small target audience. Uh, you might want to be chief executive, in which case you're just targeting the board at this point. Uh, but you have to focus on that. Think about the platform you need to reach those people. and. Uh, develop your clout from there. No point in targeting people that can't help you achieve your clout. Uh, so that's my thought from this spectacular setting uh, in Jordan. Always remember the target audience and always message with them in mind rather than something generic. So young people want a lot of character and that's what these princes have been delivering on Instagram which is why they're, they look pretty well set to uh, carry that audience with them as they get older. Goodbye from Jordan.